i think the gentleman for his leadership on this issue one of my concerns in this entire budget process is the way that we are treating education it seems to me that we need to be doing more in education and investing more in education for pre-k to post-grad that if we are to be competitive in future years we need a workforce that's fully developed in which every young person is able to get all the education they're willing to work for to achieve their full god-given potential and i fear that the approach being taken which is such an unbalanced approach jeopardizes the educational future for many talented young people in america today i was with a group of early childhood educators on saturday at st phillips college in san antonio just seeing the immense potential of these young people the potential i see in my own young granddaughter and her desire to learn an investment in head start instead of reducing the commitment to head start is the way to go we need to work to improve and strengthen the education available through the head start program through some of the other early start initiatives for our youngest americans but adopting a budget that does not place an emphasis on early learning we've had testimony right here in this committee from leader of the federal reserve and from other business leaders about how a dollar invested in early education pays off in dividends to the country the same is true of public education our states are making so many cutbacks in the public education arena our willingness to invest in what should be a race to the top trying to improve the quality of our public schools supporting our teachers seems to be to be a place where we need special emphasis and then i've worked on the ways and means committee on what's called the more education tax credit or the american education tax opportunity tax credit i think it needs to be expanded it allows individuals to decide whether they want to invest in higher education or some other post high school education and gives them the means to do that with twenty five hundred dollars coming directly off of their taxes we certainly need to invest in the pell grant program rather than to cut it back further i see those young people at texas state at the alamo colleges at utsa at incarnate word and trinity all with great potential to contribute to this country if we will simply give them the educational opportunities that they want and need but a budget that says no new revenues that the people at the top will just not survive if they have to have the tax rate they did during the